This is the first paper I have written that presents the same difficulties as one that I wrote in the eighth grade social studies. In that paper, I was able to prove to my satisfaction that Buddhism, Hinduism, Judaism, and Christianity are all at base the same. I did much research and was able to match up all the different injunction and exhortations of each separate religion. It was long with copious quotes. This will not be long and I will not quote. This paper will have a dedication to Joe Brainerd, who if he was still living, and I dearly wish he was, would have been the artist writer that you would have invited to this conference. I don't know of any artist writer, writer artist, whose works in each medium are of such perfect balance. Edward Lear, William Blake, Giorgio Vasari, Benvenuto Cellini, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Eugene Delacroix, Saul LeWitt. I do find I need a quote from Joe. I picked it randomly from selected writings. I remember a very poor boy who had to wear his sister's blouses to school. I remember Easter suits. I remember taffeta and the way it sounded. I remember The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. I remember trying to visualize my mother and father actually fucking. I remember when in grade school giving a valentine to every person in my class in fear that someone might give me one that I didn't have one for. I remember homeroom mothers. I remember reading once about a lady who choked to death eating a piece of steak. I remember rubbing my hand under the restaurant tabletops and feeling all the gum. I remember Jim and Lucy. Jim sold insurance and Lucy taught school. Every time I saw them, they gave us a handful of plastic billfold calendars advertising insurance. I remember Saturday night baths and Sunday morning comics. I remember Tab Hunter's famous pajama party. And more from Joe. Selections from Diary, August 4th to 15th. August 4th. Today went to the Museum of Modern Art to see the mummified remains of the actual asp that Queen Cleopatra used to kill herself with. <clears throat> A most interesting object. August 5th. Today I went to the Museum of Modern Art to study Excalibur, with which King Arthur proved his right to kingship, and to sip coffee in the museum sculpture garden. I found the sword to be a most unusual object. August 6th, today I thought, a rusty old sword and a dead snake. Are they kidding? Where are the real treasures of yesterday? August 7th, today I went to the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art to look at real treasures of yesterday. The major treasures are quite exciting. I found their minor treasures rather unexciting. August 8th. <clears throat> Today I thought seriously about Excalibur and decided it could have just as easily been Prince Valiant's or even Flash Gordon's. I have definitely decided this to be a minor treasure. August 9th. Today I decide that perhaps minor treasures are not so minor after all, so I ran to the Museum of Modern Art to study with a new light the mummified remains of the actual ass that Queen Cleopatra used to kill herself with only to find out that the exhibition had been returned to India.